your reading this is your love reading and this is for any of you who are in a marriage a relationship a situation if you're attracted to that somebody and you just want to see where it's gonna go this is for you this is your overall energy your past present future reading and um yes pisces let's hop into it all for those of you who are new my name is cherica aka dark moon diva if you would like a private or a personal reading click down in the description box below my website is listed there and if you would like you know a reading a, a, a spiritual products or services you can click on that link and it'll take you right to all the things that i offer including spiritual bath bars candles oils and scent products spiritual workings because i do do spiritual workings as well for those of you who are um on or if you have a, a iphone like myself you can connect with me on instant go so you would want to download that app and then click on the link down below which is my link to my instant go and you can text me through that app you can ask me questions um and get like you know little short readings through that app or you can call me through that app and if you text me through that app you'll usually get a response within about 15 minutes to an hour and a half usually doesn't take me very long it just depends upon how busy i am okay all right pisces let's hop into things all right my water signs that's what i'm working on working on right now i just got done with my scorpios so y'all are next and then i'm going to move on to my cancers These are your cards, Pisces. Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, your overall energy here. Let's go ahead and start with your past, okay? Pisces, I am getting that a lot of you guys were dealing with fire signs, okay? Fire signs would be a Leo and Aries. Or a Sagittarius sun moon arising. Okay. This this person may have been very passionate, goal oriented, driven. Okay, there may have been a very strong sexual connection and attraction to this person. Okay, this could also represent your own energy in the past. With the Prince of Staves, you may have had a new idea, or there may have been some sort of passionate endeavor that you were driven towards or taking action towards, Pisces. So we're going to some clarification for the Princess of Staves and the Three of Swords. I'm getting definitely a strong sexual attraction between you and this fire sign for those of you who are involved with fire signs. Okay, so Pisces, what I'm seeing here is that in the past you were dealing with the fire sign. Okay, I feel like in the past that this person may have tried to come back into your life or you came back into their life or there was... You know, a situation where you were trying to work on a relationship, you and your partner were trying to work something, the, the, you and this fire sign from your past were trying to work a situation out or this fire sign came back in to try and work a situation out with you, okay? You may have known this person for a long time or grew up with this person, you may have been in a relationship with this person for years. It could be, you know, six years. 
Okay. You may have started your relationship with this person in the summer months, right around June or July. It feels like um, this fire sign, it feels like this fire sign was deceptive or sneaky, um, that you couldn't trust this person. Okay, this person may have caused you to feel that they were deceptive in some sort of way. There was clearly some sort of deception. Someone that was, you know, there was some sort of I feel like you you felt like you were deceived or bitten by this person, like this person was a snake. This person from your past. And this person may even come off childish and immature from time to time as well. The things that they do, the things that they say. I do feel that um, this person was rebellious. And this is what put an end to the relationship. It does feel like breaking the relationship off with this person was difficult to do. I feel like this person was definitely very clingy in the relationship, but wasn't totally honest with you, Pisces. Okay, this person may be clinging to you. I feel like this person came back into your life and was trying to make a connection with you again, was trying to reconcile. I'm also getting that um, working the relationship out or just the fact that this person was trying to come back into your life and um, start fresh with you that, you know, you felt like this was a burden, like you really didn't want to be bothered. Because all you can do is think about how they were being fake or rebellious, sneaky, and deceptive. It feels like either you or this person can't get over you. Like maybe you're consistently thinking about their behavior in the relationship, or you're thinking about this person, but you don't have the most positive feelings about this person that, you know, you don't really have a, a really positive feeling about this person because there was some sort of deception. You feel like you were snaked by this person from your past. And I do feel like some sort of truth came out about what it was that they were doing, okay? Or what it was that they weren't being honest about. Some sort of truth was revealed to you. And it put them on the home front, okay? And now I feel like you can't really trust this person. You're having difficulties either moving on. Um, I do feel like some of you guys are definitely dealing with heartbreak right now. Because in the current here, we have the three of swords and then we have the five of swords. So you may be arguing with yourself internally. Like you may be having inner conflict with yourself. Why you didn't see it, why you didn't realize the deception sooner. Um, you may also be dealing with inner fear and anger. Or it could be this other person that you're dealing with, this fire sign that's dealing with these emotions here. Okay, but a lot of mental energy going on. You and this person may even be arguing, going back and forth. You know, <clears throat> about this deception, about you feeling snaked and deceived. Three, three, give me some clarification about this five of swords here. You have the five of swords and you do have the five of pentacles. Both of them. So this does speak, speak of... Um,
major issues within your relationship here. Okay, it feels like in the here and now, there's been communication or there will be communication surrounding this heartbreak here, surrounding um, what was veiled or what came to the light in the past with this person here. But again, there's conflict, there's arguing, um, lots of conflict going on and pain, anger, heartbreak, maybe even some crying. Okay, because your overall energy is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords, that energy is all about feeling stabbed in the back. Removing yourself from a situation where um, there's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of going back and forth. There's a lot of snaking. There's a lot of deception that's going on. Um, things have been, they have been brought to the light in regards to this fire sign and the actions that they've been taking maybe behind the scenes. This person may have been dealing with someone from their past as well. Okay, and maybe that was revealed and that's what created this heartbreak. But it feels like you're having difficulties interacting with this person and coming to a common ground. Um, you may see yourself in this person or this person may see um, you in them. I feel like this is your twin flame that you're dealing with. We do have the five of pentacles, so there may be financial issues as creating um, issues within the home or issues within your relationship. Okay, but I feel like with this five of pentacles, this is just mental energy that's going on with you right now, Pisces. I feel like you are having a difficult time. You're have it's like a mental overload. You're having a difficult time grounding yourself mentally and emotionally right now. And again, this could be the emotions of the other person that you're dealing with as well. Okay. Some of you guys are now, some of you guys have actually physically moved away from this other person, packed your bags and actually got away, moved to maybe a place where it's snowing or the, the temperature or the weather is colder. You may have actually traveled or moved across waters or seas um, to another state or another city. Okay. Um, I do see an emotional offer from a water sign, but this could also represent your energy as well, Pisces, with the Prince of Cups. This may be an, an emotional offer from a distance, from someone that's at a distance, but I feel, um, I feel that you honestly do have feelings and emotions for this person, but that you have your guards up. You definitely have your back turned away from this person. Something in you may be asking or telling you intuitively to give this person an, a chance. Or this person may be asking for an opportunity or forgiveness from you. They may even be sending you gifts, sending you cards, sending you things, messages over the internet to try to, you know, get you to over overcome, you know, this heartbreak or to, you know, just ask for forgiveness to try to heal the relationship Okay, to, to, to try to bring um, happiness to you. Okay, what I'm seeing is two different things. I'm seeing you, Pisces, you are thinking about, you know, speaking to this person, giving this person a second opportunity, healing the relationship. Okay, I am seeing a relationship where there's actually two water signs. So if you're not involved with the fire sign, a lot of you guys are involved with the water signs, okay? There may have been talk or plans um, in regards to marriage. I do feel like you were definitely in a solid relationship with this person and now there is blockage. There's blockage, there's fear because we have the Ten of Swords. So this is all about, again, feeling backstabbed, feeling betrayed feeling depressed, feeling um, mental overload, fear and depression, anxiety when it comes to accepting an offer. Spirit, give me some clarity for the Seven of Cups.
Okay, so you had one card that popped out, which is the, the High Priestess. So you may be dealing with someone that is, you know, into voodoo, hoodoo, witchcraft, someone that may be a witch or a high priestess, someone that is um, into spirituality very deeply. But the other thing that I'm getting here is that you're dealing with someone that is secretive. I feel like there's this situation where where Pisces, where there was some sort of spiritual enlightenment or some sort of truth in regards to your relationship here. I feel like in the future, you're still going to be trying to do your homework and your research. You're trying to um, find out whether or not you can trust this person. It's almost like you're trying to come up with the evidence that they did something that was deceitful or deceptive or this information that came in this this yeah this information that you found out about in regards to them being deceptive it's like almost like you're it's leading you to a place where you're trying to find out more you're trying to dig deeper and find out whether or not they have more secrets this person may be hiding something from you I definitely feel like secrets are an issue between you and your significant other. Okay. We have the seven of cups. So this is about options. Someone, someone may have had options in love or someone may also be dealing with illusions because the seven of cups represents options. You may be thinking heavily, but it could also represent illusions here. Okay. So maybe now because of the deception... You're consistently thinking about in the future, more so towards the end of November, you're thinking about, you know, the possibilities of this person having even more secrets. And then we have the four of cups. So it's like you, maybe you're drinking, you're overindulging or this person is overindulging or with the four of the cups, the four of cups represents, you know, emotional burden, not wanting to be bothered with this person's secrets. Or these thoughts that you may be having, these negative emotions that you may be experiencing here. In regards to someone's secrets or your own secrets here. Okay? So I feel like you are in the future that you're going to be trying to delve deeper to find out, can I trust this person? Because I don't know which way to go. Let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice in regards to your cards, Pisces. Spirit, please give my Pisces some spiritual advice in regards to their cards, in regards to their relationship, their marriage, their situationship. <laughs> deck to get more insight and spir spiritual guidance in regards to your situation, Pisces. Spirit, please give my Pisces some spiritual guidance in regards to their relationship. Okay, so the first card that we have here, Spirit is saying that, um, that physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So this could have been a, the culprit right here. This could have been the issue in the relationship that caused deception. Maybe um, someone was yearning for physical touch, more um, emotion in the relationship, more sex in the relationship here. Okay, maybe Spirit is saying that that's what you guys need now in order to overcome the issues that you currently are having within your relationship. Okay, the second card that we have in regards to spiritual, that's spiritual guidance from Spirit, it says, Dearest you, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. 
we would like to take a little we would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun when you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted we get a chance to move some magic in your direction we just need you to let go a little spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun when was the last time that you got really loose silly and goofy Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world is less daunting and you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty the spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? Now, does that not resonate with the reading? I told you that in the future you're going to be, there's going to be illusions and you're going to be thinking and trying to delve deeper and it's just like you're heartbroken, you're angry, you know, you're doing a lot of thinking, it's a lot of mental overload, can you trust this person, you don't know whether or not you can, can trust this person and spirit is just saying that you need to let loose, don't be so serious about these issues that you're having in your relationship um, maybe you feel that this person is um, more deceptive than what they they are. I'm not saying that this person hasn't been deceptive in the past, but I feel like spirit is saying that you need to let loose and that it's not as serious as what you think or what it may appear to be. OK, spirit is saying to enjoy, you know, some physical touch, you know, just open up to your significant other. If possible, if they deserve it, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like some of you guys just really need some good sex. <laughs> All right, so Pisces, that is your reading. Stay blessed, stay well. And again, if you would like a private reading or if you would like spiritual work, services that I provide and offer, check out my website or you can connect with me on Instant Go. You guys stay blessed, stay well, and ashe.